Hi guys, welcome. My name is Sierra, and if you are new to my channel, I am an American currently living in Mauritius. Here on my channel, I talk about expat life and also what it's like to live on the Isle of Maurice. Today, we are going to be doing a bit of a QA. and a uh, Thank you to those who actually participated. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into your questions for today. The first question is, how did you decide on moving to Mauritius? This question or this answer is rather a bit of a process. I'm going to say about three to four years ago. I was doing some research on Africa and um, I started learning about different African islands. Now, coming from the United States, we don't really get to see uh, many African islands depicted on television. So, um, so I was really intrigued by this and I wanted to find out more. And I came across a young lady's blog and she was talking about what it was like to live in Mauritius as an expat. And uh, from that point, I just continued to keep it on my radar. Fast forward, I was living in Washington, D.C., living my best life. And then one day I received an article recommendation from Google about different digital nomad visas and Mauritius was on the list and the visa was free. That was easy. Ever since I saw that, it became a goal. Next question, what is it like living in Mauritius as an expat? When I first came to Mauritius, I was living in Graham Bay. This particular area is uh, really um, a bit of a tourist spot. Lots of tours, lots of taxis, beautiful beaches. But for me, it just really didn't give me uh, what I thought was an authentic Mauritian experience. So about a month ago, I relocated to the center of the island. And here it is more city-like. There's a train, there's a, a bus station plenty of taxis, and uh, there's really large supermarkets, big malls. Um, I do feel like this option is more befitting for me, but the great part about uh, coming here as an expat is that there are different locations throughout the island, different lifestyles, different vibes, and um, there seems to be something for everyone. What are your plans after Mauritius? You guys, I get this question quite a lot. Um, and I'll try to help you understand from my point of view. For three years, I was grounded in the United States, and I don't want that to sound negative because, again, Washington, D.C. was everything that I could have asked for at that particular time due to the global situation. Speaking of global, I really love Washington, D.C. for its international influences, and um after three years went by, I just um, was ready for next. And um, here I am in Mauritius. I am so happy to be here. I feel like it really is a great match for me. And it, it was just last week when I was approved for my long stay visa here, the premium visa, which I will get into more detail about a little further in this video. So, um, I'm deciding to be present in the moment. A few moments later. Oops, my earring, sorry. Um. Okay. Next question. Does Mauritius have food options for those that have allergies or follow a vegan, vegetarian, or gluten-free lifestyle? The short answer is yes. The long answer is if you are looking for a whole foods experience, um, you're gonna have to work for it a little bit. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. The main types of foods here, I think I would say would be Indian or uh, Eastern Asian, Chinese in specific, um, which are all really great foods. But if you, like myself, have a gluten allergy or a dairy allergy, things can get um, a little bit tricky. 
if this is the case for you, my first advice would be whenever you are looking for an accommodation, you must get one that has a uh, fully equipped kitchen. Many of the accommodations here, if you're doing like an Airbnb, for example, will come with a microwave. You need to ask the host if it is an actual microwave or a conventional oven where you can actually bake something. Um, they may have a hot plate. Um, these are the questions that you need to ask and you need to be prepared. There are some um, special grocery stores throughout the island where you can shop and get like your gluten-free items, vegetarian, vegan, but again, you would need to be able to cook these. So you need to ask these questions ahead of time. And just know that uh, if you come here and you want to stay long-term, you will have some of these uh, shops where you can get your items, but you might need to be a little bit more strategic and resourceful about it, as opposed to thinking that you're just going to be able to go into one of these shops and get everything that you need all at one time. How is fishing? Here in Mauritius and uh, living on the beautiful uh, Indian Ocean, there are many beautiful and uh, unique types of fish. You can go to a local market, for example, many exotic types of fish here. Even if you went to the supermarket, for example, um, you can have some frozen options to choose from and some will actually be imported for ne from nearby uh, countries like Madagascar which I think when you are coming from a really far away place like America, just being able to try any of these, I think it's a, a really great experience. It wasn't until I came to Mauritius that uh, I became hooked on hockey and breadfruit. Back in uh, the Caribbean, which if you guys don't know, is very close to the United States, uh, hockey and breadfruit is uh, quite a common uh, dish. It wasn't until I came here that I was able to try that. So I'm a little late to the party, but I am uh, obsessed. Are there Christian houses of worship? Yes. If you saw my video about the history of Mauritius, then you know that the island is very diverse. Um, and with that comes a multitude of different religious practices. I find it really similar to the United States in as much as um, like right down the street from me, uh, there's a church and not too far from that is a mosque and I hear the call to prayer throughout the day. There are other people that uh, practice Buddhism here. There's uh, quite a mix of different religions here, but if you are a Christian and you were um, curious about if there were uh, churches here to attend, please know that there are. Is the water safe to drink? I've heard from Mauritians that it is, uh, but if you are a sensitive person, you probably shouldn't drink tap water in general. There are uh, lots of bottled water brands here. Some of them uh, are Mauritian, some of them are imported, and they come in a variety of different prices. If you are concerned about that, just know that there are many options here. Is there hot water? I think you maybe meant uh, if you have an accommodation, will you have access to hot water on demand? Yes, there are some locations on the island where you may have to press a button and then wait for the boiler to start uh, to get the water hot. But in many of the accommodations, it's something that just kind of happens on demand. How receptive are the natives to interacting with foreigners? In my opinion, majority of Mauritians are extremely welcoming. Uh, also, a lot of times they assume that I am Mauritian, especially when my hair is in its curly state, and they physically look very shocked when I start to speak and they uh, realize that that is not the case. What? Some of them are a little bit more persistent and in disbelief, and then that's when I gotta, you know, be like. <laughs> but they are um, very welcoming people. And just know, again, going back to the diversity of the island, it seems to be a place for everyone and welcoming in that aspect. Is maneuvering around the city easy? 
in the center of the island where I live now, I have many uh, efficient modes of transportation near me. I live next to uh, a bus station and the train, which I refer to as the light rail. If you go to some of the other locations on the island, uh, for example, the East Coast, I don't believe that the train goes that far at this particular time, but there are buses there and taxis. And then if you go to the South, I heard that um, it's better to rent a car there. Uh, they may have some buses as well. Uh, the island, again, is um, very different depending on what location you go to. But if you just do some research ahead of time, um, I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to find something that suits your personality in particular. How is the internet? When I first came to Mauritius, I knew I was coming here as a remote worker. So if you are from the United States, then you're probably familiar with this device here. It's a, a Solus device. I was a customer of this company for many years throughout my travels. And then um, the original Solus that I had uh, stopped working because it wasn't equipped for 5G. So I upgraded and thought that I would be able to use the product here in Mauritius, uh, but when I touched down, I was horrified to find out that it did not work despite Mauritius being one of the applicable countries on their website. I did many calls and emails back and forth with customer service. They tried to help me troubleshoot. I went to different locations throughout the island to see if it would catch, but it never did. Uh, and as far as compensation is concerned, they just offered me free day passes that I could not use. <laughs> but all was not lost. I was able to go to uh, Intel, which is a really popular um, internet provider here on the island. And um, they offered me this device which can connect laptops and cell phones. And I was able to work um, by just paying like a prepaid price. Um, I don't think I spent over $22 per month to use this and I can use it in the house or when I'm out and about. It really was a lifesaver. But now that I have my own apartment, I upgraded to this device here, which can um, actually give four to 5G and it helps me stream a lot easier and it's just a quicker uh, and better experience overall. Yes! I don't believe I pay any more than uh, maybe 40 USD per month for this. And um, I believe they have different packages as well. If you are a remote worker and you're concerned about the internet connectivity here, I, I can't really speak for what you might be bringing here and assuming that that will work. But I will say that they have options here to help you, uh, like fiber optic, for example, so that you can work uh, as a remote worker. How easy is it to find a barber willing to cut my hair? There are many different hair types here. I'm not too well versed about um, getting really low haircuts, but there are people here with low hairstyles. And uh, again, diversity is celebrated here. You can easily go up to a Mauritian because they are so approachable and ask them for recommendations. And they're very accommodating and will steer you in the right direction. I, for example, have 4C curly hair. So I'm not quite sure uh, how I feel about having someone style that type of hair in its natural state. But um, a couple of weeks ago, I went and got my hair braided, you guys, and this style cost me 39 USD, whereas back at home, it would cost me probably close to 200 USD. So um, not only are they equipped to handle different hairstyles here, it's pretty economical depending on where you're coming from in the world. What is the weather like? That actually varies. So right now we're in the winter season here in Mauritius and uh, in the center of the island where I live, it can get pretty cool. I specifically remember 
uh, being on the East Coast and it being very, very humid despite it being winter time. And when I moved to the center of the island, I got here around the evening and um, I saw people in hoodies walking around and that was a bit of a shock. But uh, just to kind of give you an example of how the weather can change depending on where you're going and it can be a drastic change. Um, at nighttime here, the weather has gotten as low as like maybe 65 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty comfortable considering that it's winter. And during the days, it can get maybe to the early 80s, mid 80s. Overall, for it to be winter, you guys, I have no complaints and I have a gorgeous mountain drop to look at and um, it's just great vibes. All right, you guys, how can I live in Mauritius? This is the final question. I will say that there are many different visas that you can use as a foreigner to, to stay in Mauritius long term. Um, in particular, I will elaborate on the premium visa. This is the visa that I received and it is free and it's for remote workers. So that means you need to be able to prove that you are a remote worker when you are filling out the application online. You also need to be able to prove that you make uh, a minimum of 1,500 USD per month and there are some other application materials but for the most part I think they make it pretty easy you guys you upload everything online as far as what they're asking for and it took me only a month to receive a response back I feel like I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be and I'm so excited to see what's coming up this year in Mauritius and to bring you guys along with me on this wonderful journey after being bound for three years uh, but if you have any suggestions or anything that you want to see in particular from my part of the world please continue to keep the suggestions coming thank you so much for tuning in and i look forward to bringing you the next video ciao